Well, hello, this is Pandora 4, the first of a few videos I'm going to do. This is a quick introduction, hopefully only 10 minutes if I don't waffle too much, that will give you a broad overview of what this is about. And basically it's about effects and pulses, percussion, bit of sound design. Uh, so none of your normal, regular bread and butter patches, they're all in these earlier ones. That The last one was 2013, so it's been a while. Uh, no phrases as far as I can tell either it's not that kind of thing it's all fairly playable stuff with the caveat that we're looking at clusters and effects and all that um, so let's get straight on with it let's start with a multi because it's number one here combos are multis uh, but they're done in a slightly different way so that the patches can talk to each other this is a an example of a pulse in fact there we go that's a pulse You've got mid strings, low strings, and some shorts up there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, that did half remind me of the score for your 1993, which is amazing. John Powell. Um, so you've got a synth engine that can pulsate or not. Let's take it up to eights. holding down the triplet. Now we're up to 16th and you can play. Uh, you can play the whole thing and you can always end because that was quite ungainly, but so far, what was I doing? If you need a big splat ending, you've got it right there. And up the top, you've got a second set of key switches. That's the shortest. Or for the longest of those short notes. Um, there we go. That's give you an idea of the, the, the sort of basics that combos are when they're stacking up these patches together. Let's get on with the nitty gritty. And you can see, as I'm talking, you can just take a look at what sort of patches are in there. Let's go for wins. Let's do a bit of wins, shall we, at this point. Some wild runs. Um... Got your ups and your downs. And these yellow ones are like at the very highest. Is it just piccolos and flutes? So that's the difference there. Yeah, okay, we've all heard stuff like this before. You'll see there's been a big flashy thing, and you think, well, that's very flashy. Does it? Is there any point to it? Yes, well, yes, there is. At the moment, things are timed. They're timed to go four beats here. But I can change it to uh, three beats, two beats. I can change it to six beats. It's turned a slightly different colour. That's what happens if you go outside the range they've recorded. Uh, you can do that in seconds, you can turn it off, but this is the fun one. So let me play the good old Cubase metronome. You'll be hearing quite a bit of that. And now I play it, and I can stab it at pretty much any point. And that is always hitting the downbeat at the end. So, one, two. Bang on. The low note's hitting there, because I'm playing a run down. you sort of can't get it wrong which for a cloth fingered if that such exists a uh, boxing glove handed person such as me is great um like i said there's all these different modes on that uh so let's move on after you took a look at all the different effects there take a look at the clusters here no, 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 i'm going to pick here let's pick should we pick a tutti tutti crescendo oh, i'm sorry i haven't stopped the metronome you're all screaming stop that stupid click um that's still loading so the clusters obviously uh, are you can play multiple notes actually you really want to layer them up they sound very symphobia don't they and you see that's the blue keys and if you see the uh, uh the yellow keys i did that rubbish It's a sustained version. You can do that either way around, of course. You want to might just start with that, and then that 
was a kind of a low velocity that I hit. If you want it bigger, you whack it. And of course, you're sinking in exactly the same way that you've uh, already seen and heard. Except, <laughs> I've got to remember to press down beat, which I always forget. Second beat. And bang. On. One, two, three. So even an off beat, uh, it still works well. So you've got winds, you've got brass, you've got a bit of piano in there, um, all kinds of clusters. The tonal section is pretty big, um, so it's not all aleatoric and dissonant stuff. Uh, there's some really nice stuff here. What was I going to load? I wrote it down. There's things mid glissando. Oh, this is great. You'll like this. Um, so we've got four sections of different sort of bended notes. You could play more than one. And they should go together. So that's a minor second. You've got um, major second. Oops, wrong octave. And you can go up as well. This is with the mod wheel down. So this one, which is tritone. Pretty funky, isn't it? And again, press play and the magic all happens. Oh, and I press down beat, it does. Otherwise it just counts in beats. It's a very musical library. It just responds to how what you'd sort of want it to do, uh, even though you haven't really thought your end through it. I'm talking about me here. It's just like, I want it now. And there it is. Of course, I'm pressing the wrong octave. So as you, you're looking through, you've got various shorts, crescendos, frosandos, uh, there's a colenio in there. There's quite a sort of a, a healthy rips shorts that anything with the sync written to it can do this clever flashy thing. Uh, let's move on to pulses. Uh, I was going to have this, I think, horns and bones. Well, you've already heard a pulse, really. So it's like um, like you've already heard with the combo. <laughs> We've got some uh, mod wheel control of the dynamics here. There's various. Of course, we've got all the same speed controls. What it's doing with some of these is it's record, they've recorded it in many different ways so that it sounds natural. They're not doing mad time stretching. It all sounds very musical. Um, Again, you can just get things going quite nicely with that. I was going to show you one other thing here that um, you've got uh, snapshots and the snapshots will do clever variations on a patch. pretty well and some of these are really they just sound totally different from the main patches they do some very clever things with them uh, let's move on to section six the risers as a light plane passes over the house um and so risers are risers i know you've got all these different variations all the risers you could eat really this is an accelerating one And you've got different sort of dynamic ranges. P to MF, this one. And of course... Um, I forget to press down beat again, and... <laughs> I was right near the end. Great, always bang on the beat. Uh, here's another thing that I haven't shown you. Um, this is sound design mode where you hear it at its slowest speed and you can do all sorts of weird things with it change the start point you can reverse it I 
That was a fun. Uh, and any patch with a triangle, you've got this sound design mode, so you can play around some more. Let's go into percussion. There you go. Bunch of percussion. What do you think? Hits and rolls, cinematic drums, fancy some of that. Uh, well, what have we got then? The, these are great, again, just to have them time. The rolls are fantastic. So bang, 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 bang. Low velocity is quiet. These yellow patches at the top... They go in quietest on the left, loudest on the right. So you can play like that. Um, but of course the rolls... Well, I've got a down beat. I just love that. Being able to hit a roll and it... Because I never go in time normally that you can with this. So there's a bunch of percussion stuff as well. Um, that gives you a broad overview of the areas that it's covering. Obviously, I've barely scratched the surface. Some of these are huge, these sections, and there's all these snapshots with a million variations. So if you want to know more, you're just going to have to sit through one of the long videos. This is the easy one. Anyone can sit through a 10-minute video. Yeah, yeah, so what? Sit through one of the long ones. Let's see you then, eh? Um, that will obviously go into a lot more detail so you have an idea of the real depth of what's in there, see if it's what you're after or not uh, and i will go through the you know the pitfalls the strengths the weaknesses um project sam have given me a copy of this to review which is very nice of them but my deal since day one is i'm just going to tell it like i see it and so you know i'll show you the warts and all um and show you where i think there's some scope for where they might take it in in future versions which uh, could be amazing all right but there we are this is 1.0 version 1. in fact it's version 1.0 it was written somewhere down there i think it's 1.05 i did mean to see that right okay i've wrapped up several times now um please go and do something else or watch another video all right um see you on another one everyone bye bye, -bye.